Hey Virgo, Everlong Mystic here. Today I am going to do a reading about your your connection, your connection to the cosmic web, how you connect or what you need to know about your connection and what you might be afraid of, what to do, that kind of stuff. All right, so Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Nine of Swords. So this is this card is representing your connection. The Nine of Swords. No, it's Six of Swords. He's in a freaking boat. What am I doing? It's a six. Alright. I was getting worried for a second. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Six of Swords. So, Virgo, you want to go there. Okay. You want to go there. You want to connect. You are ready. You are, you're, you're in the boat. You're ready. You're ready to connect. Very cool. All right. So what, what is the, what is helping the connection or what can it enhance the connection? We have the King of Swords. Ooh. All right. So what I'm getting from this, Virgo, number one is all the yellow in this card is the confidence. There, and look, there's even yellow flowers above, above right here. So it's like you're confident enough to know that you want to connect, which is good. And, but you, you need to be ready to stand up and kind of like defend yourself. Because there are, there are going to be people out there that think connecting to, you know, the cosmic web of the universe is, is a bunch of BS or whatever. You, you have to be prepared to, to defend yourself. I, you know, I understand that. But also, it's like, this King of Swords, he's been through a lot. He's been through a lot, which means, Virgo, you've been through a lot. I mean, think about all of the swords. You know, it's like you, and he's still holding, you know, the, the first sword, the sword of truth. It's like, you know there's more out there, Virgo. You know there's more out there, and you have made decisions, you've had your heart broken, you've, you've, you've recuperated, you've, you've had, you know, you've had your, your taste of annoying people, you, I mean, like all the all the swords, like you've been through all the swords, and you're ready. You're ready for something more important. You're ready for something more important. And so, what's the challenge? What is this challenge with your connection, Virgo? It's the King of Pentacles. But this King of Pentacles, he has everything locked in a box. Wow. So Virgo, your your challenge here with your connection is is unlocking the box because I feel like once this box is open, it's it's go time. And I, and this is not Pandora's box. This is this is like your own personal box of magic, Virgo. So the challenge is unlocking the box in the first place. Huh. I mean, you would think that... You wouldn't think that would be your challenge because you would think that you'd unlock the box, then get in the boat. Maybe you're getting at maybe Virgo, maybe you're getting ahead of yourself, I don't know. But this, this box needs to be open. Alright, so the benefit. So if you get this box open, The benefit, you know, Queen of Swords. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Look at all this yellow. Virgo, be confident. You can do this. And it's and it's funny because it's like 
there is not a lack of confidence on more, you know, like practical things, of course, with Virgo, but like connecting with spirit, connecting with the universe, they're not, it, there's no, there's no roadmap for it. There's not, there's not a recipe to follow. There's not instructions because every connection is unique to each own person. You know what I mean? So, but if you can, if you can open this box, Virgo, you got the Queen of Swords. She knows what's up. I just feel like you will be discovering things that are just completely open, open your eyes. And it's, there's a lot of, like, look, you've got yellow flowers, yellow flowers, yellow flowers. There's a lot of confidence here. But also yellow, this golden color is... It's, it's success. Like, you have the promise of success with this. But you need to be, a, but, but you gotta be able to open this box. And I don't, I don't know what this means. Honestly, I'm not getting, I'm not getting anything to me that's telling me what this really means. So I might get a, I might grab a, a baby deck and see if we can get more here. But it could be related to fears. Um, because fears are prevalent in, in, um, in these readings. I knew they would be, I expect it. So that's why I have placements for fears. So we're just going to look at what are you afraid of? So we have four of cups. It's like fear of, it's fear of failure. Well, that explains all the all the confidence message here. I mean, you're it's feel of it's fear of failure, and it's weird because in this four of cups, I don't even see any cups. Like I literally don't see any cups in the picture. There's no cups. Where are the cups? I mean, like this right here is like having the the box shut, no cups. So there is some kind of emotional aspect here that you have to be able, you have to be, oh my gosh, his head is a big cup. Oh, check it out. His head is a big cup. Oh my gosh, Virgo. So you, okay, so the, the connection here and look. That's what that's what the boat is on. It's on water. The connection is water. It's not earth, Virgo. It's not earth, it's water. The water is the is the key to your connection. The water is the key and it's what you're afraid of. It's like you don't want to feel it. But the water is the key to opening this box. And you're afraid of it. You're afraid of the key. All right, so how do you how do you react to this fear, this fear of not being able to do it, this fear of the key that you actually want? You're afraid of what you want. How do you react? You're <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. So Virgo, you react by being yourself. Queen of Pentacles is super Virgo. You do other things. You busy yourself with other things. Well, if I can't, if I can't be successful at it, then I may not even, I may not even, uh, might as well not try. Virgo. I'm calling myself out too, because I'm Virgo. All right, so here's the advice. We have ten of, <laughs> ten of pentacles. All right, very, very cool. So Virgo, this, this is, this is like a hybrid here. The, you have... Okay, you've got butterfly energy, you have moth energy, but you also have something that's a little bit more alien here. To me, I mean, like, this looks alien. This is like, this is like tap, tapping into, like, some kind of, like, star, star energy. It's, it's like something are alien to you, right? So you, the, the advice is not to fear what is alien to you, what is strange to you, emotions that you're, uh, you know, whatever. The, the, the advice is to 
you know, put your head up and you use it. Don't be afraid of it. You're not going to find it. You're not going to find it in this tree. You know what I mean? This ladder here, distraction. Distraction. This is just you being a regular you. If you really want to combat this fear of I can't do it, I don't want to be a failure, then you're going to have to embrace things that are alien to you. And then if you can do, if you can do this, Virgo, then a possible outcome, perfect, is temperance. So we have temperance here. And this isn't just patience. This is, this is freaking magical. Because like, in the, the temperance card in this deck is, this is like, this is like a whole new version of like witchy woman kind of stuff. This is, this is like tapping into ancient, I mean, look, you've got like this ancient like pyramid looking thing in the background. This is tapping into ancient stuff. Like, and look, you have cactus here. It's like water, water that hasn't been tapped into in so long. And her water is flowing. And, I mean, if you look at her, like, yeah, she looks a little bit scary. But, remember, scary, the fear, that's what the, that's, the, that's just the fear. Just because something looks scary on the outside, it doesn't mean, or it feels alien to you, doesn't mean it's bad. This temperance card, this is like, this is, this is angel energy. And angels don't always look pretty. They don't all have golden hair and blue eyes and emit rays of sunshine out of their ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, angel energy is, it's big, it's powerful, and it's very assistive, and it's very loving, no matter what it looks like. And that's something that you can tap into, Virgo, if you can kind of, you can deal with the fears the fear of not being perfect. All right, this is your message. This is your cosmic web connection message, but I am gonna roll the dice here. And we're gonna see if you get an extra oracle card, if your reading is over, or if you get a whole brand new reading. Over, you're done, Virgo, no. <laughs> okay, this is your message. No, no extra cards for you, Virgo. All right, I hope this helped you in some way, and I thank you for embracing your inner mystic, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Virgo.